Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free plugin to create a contact form in a WordPress website. You can create a simple contact form or you can also create multi-step or multi-page contact form using this plugin. You can also create quiz and surveys. All the entries will be shown on the WordPress dashboard. The name of the plugin is Fluent Forms. So this plugin has free as well as the pro plugin. And I'll show you how to use the free plugin and create a contact form. Later, I'll also install the pro plugin and I'll show you what is the difference between the free and the pro plugin. I have also created many videos on different contact form plugins that you can use on the WordPress website. Let me show you some videos. This is about the contact form 7, how to use the contact form 7. This is about WP forms, how to use the WP forms. This is the Elementor Pro contact form. If you are using Elementor Pro plugin, then you do not need any third party plugin to create a contact form. You can use the Elementor Pro contact form. This is the Metform plugin tutorial and it is designed for the Elementor. If you do not have Elementor Pro plugin, you can use the Metform plugin to create a form in Elementor website. This is about the Help Gent plugin tutorial where you can use multimedia in contact form. Here you will see a video is embedded in a contact form. Next is the Spectra contact form. If you are using Spectra page builder, you can create a contact form using the Spectra plugin. This one is Ninja forms. This is also a free contact form plugin. Next is the AR forms, which you can use to create contact form, surveys, pop-up form, multi-step forms. And this one is about Forminator plugin tutorial. This is also a free plugin to create forms, quiz and polls. So if you want to watch these videos, I'll give you the links in the description box. You can compare all these plugins and then decide which plugin will be suitable for your WordPress website. So let's see how we can create a contact form using the free Fluent Forms plugin. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and now I'm going to install a free plugin to create contact forms in the WordPress website. So let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin. Name of the plugin is Fluent Form. And this is the plugin contact form plugin by Fluent Forms, Quiz, Surveys and drag and drop WP Form Builder. Click on install now. And here you can see that this form is installed on more than 400,000 websites. Click on activate. All right, so the plugin is installed and it is activated. In the left hand panel, you will see the option Fluent Forms. Click on it. Here you will see two forms are already created. These are the demo forms already created. You can use them or you can create a new form. So let's go to the first form here, the contact form demo. Click on it, edit. And this is how the demo form looks. First name, last name, email address, subject and your message. In the right hand side, you will see the fields that you can use on the form. Let's consider if you want to add address field, you can simply drag it and drop it here. And here you will see the address field has address line 1, 2, city, state, zip code and country code. Now, if you want to customize the field, you can simply click on it and you will go to the input customization option. And these are the options here, address line 1. This is how it will look. If you want to change the label, you can change the label also. This is the placeholder. If you want to make it required, you can simply click on make it required. Let's go to the city and let's mark it as required. And let's go to zip code and let's make it required. So you will see these fields are required. Here you have subject. Let's delete this subject option from here. If you want to delete, you can simply select it and delete it. Let's go to first name, last name. And here you have another option, middle name also. Go to first name and let's make it required. So it will be a mandatory field. Your message is also marked as required. Here you can change the number of rows in the text area. If you go to advanced option, you can add conditional logic. You can also add conditional logic. So here you will see the fields. If you want to use checkbox, you can simply drop it here. Select the field and change the text. 
let's say required service and these are the options here if you want to add more checkboxes you can simply click on the plus sign and add the checkbox option if you want to delete you can simply click on this delete option let's make it required and here you will see shuffle the available options if you enable this then the checkable options will be shuffled all right so this is a simple contact form here you have website url time and date option is also available multiple choice is also available drop down radio feed numeric field country list the phone number is not available in the free contact form so if you want to use the phone number you need to go with the pro plugin if i go to advanced field you will see some advanced fields also let's try this one terms and condition drag it and drop it here and you will see the options here let's click on this field and from here you can change the content here you can add your website url for the terms and condition you can also add the privacy policy link from your website let's go back to input fields these are the advanced fields password gdpr agreement form step is nothing but multi-step form so if you want to create multi-page or multi-step form this is the field that you are going to use these fields are available for the pro plugin only this is the container if you want to use one column two column three columns you can use this option use this one three columns just drag it and drop it here in this column you can select one of the field go to the second column third column so this is how it works you can add columns and in the columns you can add the fields so i'm going to delete this this is the container and payment fields these payment fields are available in the pro plugin only let's click on save form and go to settings and integration so these are the basic settings of this particular form confirmation setting this is the message that will show one when someone fills up the form here you will see the options same page to a page if you want to redirect them to another page which is already created you can select the page and you can also redirect to a custom url so you can add the custom url here and after filling up the form the user will go to that particular url and after form submission hide the form or reset the form form layout will be top so here you can control the form layout maximum number of entries can be controlled this is the number to limit the number of entries allowed for this form. The form will become inactive when that number is reached. Form schedule, you can schedule the form for a particular time period. From here, you can schedule this form. Require user to be logged in. So if you want them to be logged into your website, you can enable this option. Empty submission blocking. Enabling this won't allow user to submit empty forms when there are no required form fields restrict the form enable this restriction or allow user to submit forms depending on the selected condition so you can enable the conditions also advanced form validation survey result compliance settings and other settings are available for the pro plugin let's go to email notification now here you can create email notification so that will send the email to the user as well as you can also send the notification to the admin here you can enter the email address select the field email so this is for the user and this is for the admin here you can add your own email address and all the content will be sent to the admin add the subject and here you will see the short code you can use the short codes so let's say i want to say hi and the name of the customer and i can use it name first name so it will show the first name of the customer here and below that you can add your content and save this notification conditional formation this is for the pro custom css and js is available and configure integration so if you want to integrate with other apps you can integrate with other apps if you want to see the entries here you will see the option so whenever someone fills up the form it will show the entries here let's go to forms and you will see the forms here entries global settings these are the global settings for this plugin so layout email summaries integration value failure security if you want to add recapture you can use the recapture you just need to enter the site key and secret key here managers double opt-in 
configure integration tools let's go to tools and these are the tools export if you want to import export import entries migration these are the tools available let's go to integration and you will see the integration options available you can integrate with mailchimp slack paypal stripe zapier webhooks landing pages trello google sheet active campaign so all these integration options are available and many of them are only for the pro for the free you have the option to integrate with mailchimp and slack all right so this is the short code that you can use to show the form on any page so let's go to pages and go to the sample page here i'm using the gutenberg editor if you are using any third party editor such as elementor or wp bakery you can look for the short code option and enter the short code here i'll go for the short code enter the short code update it and the form will be shown on the page so this is how the form will look so this is the default layout of the form if you want to change the style settings of the form you will need the pro plugin all right so i'm going to install the pro plugin i already have the pro plugin so let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin go to upload and upload the pro plugin install it click on activate plugin all right so the pro plugin is installed in the left hand panel go to fluent forms pro let me close all the other windows let's keep the sample page now let's go to the contact form again and this is the form now you can see that we are using the pro plugin and we have all the fields available so if i want to add phone number i can simply drag it and drop it here select the phone number and let's make it mandatory and you can also add validate phone number so the phone number will be validated you can also use the default country code all right so these fields are available let's go to input fields go to advanced fields and you will see all the advanced fields are also available all right now let's save the form let's go to preview and design and now you can change the layout of the form here you will see some style templates modern bold classic bootstrap inherit theme style now if you want to customize more you can simply check this option customize selected field label you can change the label color just like this input text area so all these options the style settings options are available this is for the placeholder you will see the color change here radio and check boxes item colors we have checkbox here you will see it here you can also change the size you can also add border this is for the submit button change the color this is the text color of the submit button change the alignment border you can add border border color typography you can change the font size also just like this all right so these are the style setting options let's go to miscellaneous this is for the container if you want to add background image you can also add background image or you can change the background color from here this is how to look you can add padding let's change the background color just to use this one you can also add margin asterisk this is the asterisk sign for the required fields so you can change the color inherit error message after submit message style so you can customize that also after submit errors message style let's save the settings here you have import option if you want to import any style setting you can import it from here all right let's go to the page refresh it and you will see that newly customized contact form is ready so this is how the form will look now let's try another form let's go back let's go to edit fields and let's go to forms if you want to create a new form you can simply click on add new form and here you will see different templates are available if you expand it you will see all the templates available you can create conversational form subscribe to newsletter 
support form template so these templates are available if i go to marketing these marketing templates are available products so you will see a product then we have education education related survey form non-profit it some of these are available only for the pro plugin as we have already installed the pro plugin so it shows all the templates are available let's try this one create a form from here you can change the name of the form so i'm going to keep it as it is student survey form and you will see that paging start if you click on it from here you can change the content first name on the first page we have these fields then there is a page break and then we have second page here so if you want to add more page breaks you can use more page breaks let's go to input fields advanced field and let's try this one form state after this all right let's save the form let's go to preview and design and let's change the color go to miscellaneous change the background color let's add padding right so here you will see we have some fields on the first page then we have next option now these fields are required so it will not go to the next page until we complete these fields let's go to general customize it and we have the multi-page next button from here we can change the color of the next button all right let's save it let's go to edit fields again we have the header here if you want a progress bar you can use the progress bar or you can use the steps also so let's use the steps you will see step one two and three so you can name them right let's save it go to preview and design and this is how it will look step one step two and step three if i go to tablet mode it will show like this on the tablet if i go to mobile it will show like this on the mobile device so it is fully responsive you can use it on any device let's go back and let's copy the short code now let's go to the sample page again go to edit page and let's add some space here then add the short code and use the new short code and update it all right let's go to view page and this is the first form and this is the second form so let's try this one let's select some of these options here and it will go to the next page and on the last page we have submit click on submit form and it will show the thank you message here now let's go back to the forms and here you will see there is one entry here so we have filled up the form and it shows the entry let's click on it and you will see the entry here if you want to see the details you can simply click on this option and it you will see all the details of this particular entry which options are selected so everything will be shown on the entries so this is one of the best contact form that you can use on any wordpress website use the short code to show the forms on any page or any post so if you want all the features and fields you can go for the pro version of this plugin you can also integrate the fluent forms with the fluent table as well as the fluent crm plugin so if you want to buy this plugin i'll give you the link in the description box you can use my link so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.